Hey, this is Gino. <laughs> Gino of Pettis Adventures, and I'm still Gino. And it is the first day of the rest of your life. And I have my buddy Bill here with me today, and we're going to talk about living happily ever after in Colombia. How you doing, Bill? I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm okay for an old guy. I'm uh, vertical. Great. great. You're still coming back to 29th. Say it again. I say you're still coming back to 29th. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good stuff. Sooner good if stuff. I can. Well, good stuff. So what, what, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is Bill did an, an, an really interesting purchase of some vegetables and, and and fruits the other day. And apparently in a store where he lives, they on Tuesday, they have a 40% discount on fruits and vegetables. Imagine that. So with that, I'll let Bill help us out a little on, on what he bought. And it's the whole point of this is to show you the reality of how inexpensive, even without the 40% discount, fruits and vegetables are in our Columbia. Yeah, Gino, it's it's um, it's kind of part of the overall package of, of how cheap it is to live here. The store that um, we shop at on Wednesdays is Olympica, is the name of it. And we have a, a, an Olympica credit card. And what we do is on Wednesdays, normal people get 40%. I, I'm sorry, 20%. But if you use the card, you get 40%. You get a, you get a real nice discount. And what we do is nice, we, nice. It, yeah, is we buy on Wednesday mm -hmm. and then we just pay off the balance Thursday. I've tried to pay it off as soon as the um, as soon as the transaction is posted at cash, but twice I've got the story that you have to wait because it gets posted overnight to our excuse me to our system, so Alba just pays it off the next day. Well, that makes but sense. Um, <clears throat> I posted on one of your videos, I think, a, a list of exactly what we got. Um, we paid uh, fourteen dollars and seventy five cents or fruit and veg that will last us probably 10 days. Here's, I've got two examples here. Avocado, I bought three, that, I bought three this size for $1.35. Yeah, so and those four, in the States today, those in the States today are a buck and a half each. Okay, well, this is 45 cents, okay. I bought three tangerines, <clears throat> close to a softball size. I had half of one this morning. Uh, Alba had the other half. And to be honest, half was enough. Sweet as hell. And it was the same price, 40 cents. So the I bought tangerines, The tangerines in El Valle de San Jose did not get picked this year because the price was too cheap. It was too low. Yeah. Too yeah. low. They wouldn't yeah. even pick them. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable what the fruit and vegetable prices are, even, even at full price. I went on to um, to uh, a, a store in Canada that I used to shop at, and the Indian store that I used to shop at, I went on today, and I converted the prices to U.S. on their weekly flyer. So these these I can assume are. Can I interrupt you a minute, Bill? Yeah. That's why Bill and I work so well together. I am the shoot from the hip guy. Bill is a data guy. He's an engineer, I believe, and uh, he's, who would who would look up a flyer from Canada to, to do this video? Bill would. Thank you. Well, ahead, I, I I just want to give I just want to give people accurate information, you know, because anyone coming here, I mean, it's pretty hard to believe, for example, that uh, potatoes in Canada in U.S. dollars are thirty cents a pound. And yes, on I guess yesterday I paid eleven cents a pound. Um, blueberries are are three oh eight a pound, U.S. dollars. I paid a dollar thirty six. Wow. Tuna is very is very close. I only picked four four things, Gino. That's why we live here. Tuna is very close. It's a dollar thirty a can, uh, U.S. I pay a dollar five. But check this one out, chicken breasts. U.S. 
seven dollars a pound. I paid two forty. For what? Chicken breast. Pachuga. Whoa. Seven dollars. Whoa. You and are. I'll tell you the one thing: the pechuga in Colombia beats the hell out of the pechuga in the United States. It does because it's free-range chickens. You know they're allowed yep. to they're, they're allowed to run. They're allowed to to have different foods. Canada, the U.S. My understanding is the poor things live in a little box and they're fed corn for for whatever, and then uh, they give up their lives. So there's much more flavor in in a chicken here than there is there. Yeah, no chemicals. No, <laughs> no chemicals. Either. And and uh, food more than just corn. So, yeah. you know that that's that's the. Uh, I think I think I paid I paid fourteen seventy five I think it was for this. My guess is. It would be at least seventy, seventy dollars, eighty dollars in Canada. Oh my God! Here in Billingham, Washington, the same list of fruits and vegetables that you sold me yesterday. And fortunately, I didn't. Unfortunately, I did not get the flyer. But I would estimate it anywhere from a hundred and hundred to one hundred and twenty dollars for that same purchase. Yeah, it's it's I, out, it's it's out of control here. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me. I tried to I tried to get Trader Joe's and uh, one other one. Oh, I know Whole Foods, but yeah. I I couldn't I couldn't pop their flyers. It it kept sending me to a site that was selling clothes. I would like <laughs> to have I would like to have gotten some U.S. prices directly, but these are converted anyway. So, yeah. you know, basically potatoes one third, uh, avocados probably I don't know. 20%, maybe 25% of what you'd pay there. Um, you see, go ahead. You see, one, one point that maybe we don't mm -hmm. make, that maybe we don't make, Bill, mm -hmm. is that the reason we enjoy that lift on, on mm -hmm. our dollar is because that's what we're using is dollar. The people that are, that are getting their butt kicked are the Colombians because they're using Colombian pesos, and Colombian pesos are really difficult to make here. Uh, so if you, I, I put this on another video, my, my the one I did yesterday. If you think you're going to be 30 or 40 years old and come here and get a job and work and be a Colombian, you're not going to like the outcome. It ain't going to happen. Well, I mean, you can get the job if you want to work for three fifty, three hundred and fifty bucks a month. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. No, it, yeah. it's, um, I think it, I, it's, it's. For me, it's a number one place if you're retired. There's nothing, there's nothing to, there's nothing to knock Colombia. In Armenia here, from the south, uh, out by the airport, to the north section of town, it's probably a difference in elevation of 150 meters. Wow. And there's, and there's three microclimates. It's yeah. warmer at the airport, it's moderate in town, and it's, it's a bit cooler up here. But where yeah. I live, where I live, it's 80 every day, 60 every night. Yeah, you can't beat it. That's the way it is in Valle of the San Jose. It's 80 in the daytime, 60 at night, live happily ever after. Yeah, no air conditioning. We don't, have, we don't no even have hot days. water, Bill. We, and, and, you, and you really, I don't miss it. <clears throat> I think I'm healthier because we don't have it. Well, your your little place in San Gil is 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 beautiful. I really like it. I mean, it reminds me of a uh, of an English village. It's beautiful. Well, that's great information, Bill. I, I think one thing that the people need to know is that the shelves are not empty here. No. If you go to a, a supermarket, they're they're bulging. They're packed. Well, yeah, a, a lot of the things at Olympica, which uh, Olympica and Exeter are the are the two big uh, supermarkets here. I live maybe three blocks from an Olympica in a large commercial plaza, very large American style, um, open concept. And every day there's when when I'm over there, if I'm over there seven seven fifteen in the morning. There's seven, eight, nine trucks from Finca's unloading their fruit and vegetables. Yeah. And it, and it, Gino, it's every day. Oh, yeah. 
there's and, and there's no shortages. I mean, that I that I know of. I'm sure Nothing. maybe there is, but Nothing. And, and one thing we need to mention also, Bill. <clears throat> I don't know the difference in prices from Olympica and going to the local farmer's market. I think it's right. much cheaper at the farmer's market. And I think the little tienditas are even cheaper than Olympica. But what Olympica does is gives you an American and Canadian style supermarket <clears throat> that you're accustomed to, but you're yeah. going to pay for it too. Well, am, am we, I correct we, or am I Am I we, correct only, we, we generally only buy on, <laughs> on Wednesday from Olympica. Most of the things I buy are from um, are from Finca's. Yeah. On Tuesday. Well, that's what we do too. I mean, we buy. Uh, we had a lady in. <clears throat> excuse me. When we lived in Ocamonte, and she would get us chickens, fresh from yep. her aunt, and yep. uh, eggs criollos. Uh, you know, fresh picked yeah. eggs, and porfa, 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 and eggs, fresh from the chickens booty. Yeah, uh, the same. Well, the other thing, Gino, is is some of these people that, that own fincas appreciate the ten or fifteen thousand that you might spend much more than Olympica does. My attitude is Olympica doesn't exactly. need my money, but maybe these people do. Now on Tuesday, I bought uh, two trays of uh, large eggs, um, which is sixty eggs, and I paid. Seven dollars and fifty cents for the sixty. So what's there that? A dollar, a dollar fifty a dozen. There you go. And I don't know what they are there. They they must be double that, aren't they? Oh yeah, they're three fifty four, four fifty for some of the organic okay. ones. Five or six bucks for. Now we're talking for a dozen. Okay. Yeah. For exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And so. these ones have been laid in the last you know forty eight hours. Oh yeah, they're, it's incredible. It's incredible. Yeah. That's why yeah. we live here. That's exactly. why we eat healthy. We don't have to go to Whole Foods and get robbed. Oh. Uh, so anyway, well, Bill, I think we'll just let's 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 wrap it up with that one. Thank you again. It's always a pleasure to work with you. You're welcome. And, uh, <clears throat> don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share with a friend, friend. <laughs> so this is the first day of the rest of your life. If nothing changes, nothing's going to change. So Gino signing out, and we will see you on the flip side.